everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. I make videos about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that sounds like some content you're interested in, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned for more. In today's video, I, I kind of went a little bit overboard. <laughs> and I have a massive Shein haul to show you guys today. I have a whole range of items, summer, winter, skirts, dresses, pants, and of course, a lot of crop tops. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is something that actually has been in my wardrobe since my American Apparel days, back when I was a teenager, and I feel like it's something that never really went out of style. Like it's always been on trend. So I picked up two and they are these tennis skirts. So I have one in black and I got one in white. And the size I got was a size medium and it is pretty true to size. I probably could have sized down one if I wanted it to fit a little bit tighter, but it's very comfortable. It's a really good length. It doesn't show any of the goods that don't need to be shown. Um, the only thing that I have to say about the material is it's a little bit see-through. So you can see through the white one. Obviously with the black one, you don't have that problem. But another thing is the white skirt actually has a hook on the zipper right here, whereas the black skirt does not. So that was one thing I thought was kind of weird, but um, they're the same exact skirt, just in different colors. And what I love about tennis skirts is you can really play around with it. You can make it super sporty. You can make it very casual. You can wear it in the winter. You can wear it in the summer. Um, so it's a very versatile piece and I'm very happy to have added these back into my wardrobe. They're really great quality. The zipper holds up really nicely. And another great thing about tennis skirts is it's flattering on almost every body type, which is amazing. The next item that I have to show you guys is this really beautiful maxi skirt and it's very long comes down to the ankles and then it has this slit on the side and it is this really nice ribbed material with an elastic band and the reason i love this skirt so much is because i'm not the thinnest girl on the internet but it's so flattering and it really shapes your body and it's so stretchy it has a lot of give and the material is very very soft so i love this skirt I don't have any skirts like this. I'm usually not a maxi skirt kind of gal, but this one is super flattering. And it's great because you can dress this up, you can dress it down, you can throw on a pair of heels and you can wear it on a night out, or you can wear it with a crop top and some sneakers. And now you have a casual day outfit. So definitely one of my favorites from this haul. The next item that I picked up is this beautiful caramel brown satin dress. This dress, okay, first let's start with the size. I got a size small because I wanted it to fit rather snugly, which it does. So if you're looking to get this dress, I highly recommend that you size down one size so it fits your body super well. Um, there is a lot of material here. It just kind of has like this drapey neckline. It's so soft. This dress is so flattering. Like, I am hesitant to wear stuff like this because I'm really curvy and I often don't really want to accentuate the curves that I have, but this dress fits in all the right places and I love it because you can throw on a pair of heels, like I said before, and it's a dress to go out in or pair it up with some white sneakers and a little crop jacket, and now you have a perfect daytime look. The back has this beautiful drop and this little cross right here that goes across your back. It has spaghetti sleeve straps that you tie, and it is just the perfect color. So if you're looking for a very versatile dress, this one is definitely where it's at. The next item that I got, I'm actually not <laughs> super happy with. I feel like the dress falls very weird. You'll see what I mean in the cutaway, but it is this sparkly chocolate brown, again, maxi dress. And okay, in theory, this dress is 
chef's kiss. Really great. But on the body, it's actually not very flattering. It falls kind of weird. I'm actually thinking about returning it. Um, it looked great on the model. Doesn't look great on me. It's a good concept. I just think it was executed weird, like especially the straps here. To tie them in the back, it's just very complicated. It doesn't look great. And the back part kind of fans out on the side, which I don't love about it, which is unfortunate because this dress is really nice. It has a slip underneath and then the bottom is sheer. I think I'm gonna send this one back. The next items that I have for you guys actually came in a pack of three. It's a pretty basic like wardrobe staple, I would say, but it is just these cotton spandex crop tops and it comes in the brown, the white, and the black. And I definitely think it's a good buy. I think this must have been like, I don't know, $10, and you get three shirts that are really good quality and just a wardrobe basic. So definitely happy that I picked these up and such a good price for really good quality. Now moving on to probably my favorite part of the haul. It is all of the crop tops that I bought and I love a good crop top. As you can see, I'm wearing one right now and this one is actually from Shein. Not part of this haul, but I did buy it from Shein. And mm, I just love some crop tops and they are so on trend right now. Everybody's wearing crop tops. They're super affordable on Shein. They're really good quality. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. This first one, I, okay, again, love the concept. Execution was kind of janky, but maybe on the right person, it'll look better. But for me, it just doesn't do much. Um, it is this cropped blazer in black. And then it has a front button right here. So it just buttons up and this is so cute. It has shoulder pads, this beautiful like blazer neckline. It's the perfect length. However, when I wear it, it just, it rides up. It's not like, I don't know. It's just not what I was envisioning when I saw it on the model and when I purchased it. I don't think I'm gonna send it back because I really do want to try with this shirt because I love it so much. Um, but I think it's great for wearing with skirts, wearing with flared pants. You can absolutely dress this up, um, dress it down. It's just a bit basic and I was looking for a crop blazer. So while there are certain things I don't like about this shirt, I still think it was good for the price. The next one, you're definitely gonna be able to tell that I am on a blazer kick, but I got another cropped blazer, and this one is a short sleeve blazer. It has two buttons on the front, um, and then it has this patch on the front that says, always be sincere, which I actually think is kind of thorny, so I will definitely be buying a patch to put over this patch, or I will try to let some of the seams out to get it off but it is so beautiful on, it's very flattering. It's like exactly what I was envisioning when I went to purchase it. So yeah, if you are a blazer fanatic like I am and you're looking to kind of spice up the blazers that you have in your wardrobe, this one I definitely recommend. Now this top, again, I don't know what it is like, Good in theory, but like not great in execution. And it's not anything with the shirt. Like the shirt is made really well. It is just this like scalloped front crop top. It's a ribbed material. Um, I sized up in this. I think I ordered, okay, so this is a medium. Usually I buy my shirts in a small but I was afraid that the armholes were gonna be a little bit too tight and I hate that feeling of like crushing down on my arm. There's nothing wrong with this top. It's just a little bit like lackluster to me. There's nothing like super great about it. I kind of don't know why I picked it up in the first place, um, but now that I have it, I have it. So I will try to style it as best as I can. Um, but it's really comfortable, it's really soft, it's super stretchy, has a really pretty 
like scalloping neckline and I think it can be worn two ways like off the shoulder or upright so if you're like really like your closet is made up of really staple basic pieces this is a great piece to add to your collection I don't know I guess I'll just try to style it what do you guys think how would you style this the next item I purchased is uh, it's a crop top we could probably call it a napkin because it would cover as much as a napkin does. It is this super cropped, very micro kind of bandeau style shirt. And it's meant to just go across the front and then loop over the arms and tie in the back. This shirt is risky. <laughs> it doesn't cover that much. It's a very sheer material, even though it is super soft, super stretchy. Um, it even has like this extra stitching on the inside so you're not, you know, revealing too much. But on me, hmm, it just doesn't cover anything. And I don't know that I would feel comfortable walking out in public wearing this shirt, which if you are that kind of girl, go for it. This shirt is still flattering, even though it doesn't cover much. Um, but... If you are fearless and you're confident and you like this shirt, then I think it's a good buy. It was really cheap, maybe less than $5. So I don't know, if you're looking for something spicy in your wardrobe, this is not a, this is not a bad option. Um, don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try to style it. And maybe if I'm feeling a little risky, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna wear it out. We'll see. Next up, I have this beautiful kind of tie-dye inspired, or maybe it is tie-dye, I don't know, it's whatever. It's this kind of sheer crop top, it's mesh material, it's completely see-through, and it is just so cute. It's so basic, but it's so cute like i could style this up with a pair of jeans leather trousers or if i wanted to style it down just throw on like some sweatpants and some sneakers with a bra underneath and there you go it's versatile it's my perfect color palette and it's really stretchy so there's a lot of give i got a small like i said so I definitely think I could have gotten an extra small just to get it a little bit tighter. I do like to wear my clothes fairly tight, but it's fine. If tie-dye is your vibe, you need this shirt because it's super flattering and looks so good with the bra underneath. Next up. Okay, let's just give this a moment because it's not gonna look like much on camera, but trust me, when you put it on your body, it is immaculate. This kind of slate colored twist front crop top is so flattering. You need to get this crop top. And what's most surprising about this shirt is it kind of is this perforated mesh material, which online I thought it was gonna be like cotton spandex, like a regular cotton spandex shirt. But this mesh design is actually really interesting. It's very, very soft. It's so flattering. I can't say it enough times. Like you need to pick up this shirt. It can be dressed up, maybe with that maxi skirt that I picked up, dressed down with a pair of jeans or slacks. And it is just, it's my favorite shirt that I purchased this entire haul because it just makes me look so good. Next up. Did I buy it? Yes. Did I have to? Maybe not, but I'm happy I did. It is just this kind of distressed crop top. So it has a scoop neck here, it's white. It has like this kind of jagged cut edge, which I actually think I'm gonna distress a little bit more because it's just a little bit too clean cut for me. So I might go at it with some scissors and kind of fray the ends. But it is so, so soft cotton material. It is kind of see-through. That's one thing about it. It is shorter than the other white crop top that I showed you, but I kind of like it like that. I think it looks real cute with a pair of jeans that I picked up in this haul that I will show you next. But if you like a basic with a little bit of flair, then this is a great option. And 
The next piece that I picked up is this. It is a chocolate brown twist front. There's a theme here. I feel like this haul is very themed. <laughs> like I definitely went for the same kind of styles, but it is this mesh crop top, chocolate brown. Again, very flattering. My only qualm with this shirt is you have to wear a bra with it because obviously, it, well, you don't have to. I mean, do what you want, but I would wear a bra with it because it is super see-through and I live, I don't live in New York anymore. I live in Louisiana. So maybe in New York, I'd be confident enough to wear this without a bra, but here in Louisiana, I don't. So definitely wearing a bra underneath this, um, but it doesn't look bad with a bra. It's kind of cute, especially I think if you put like a lacy bra to kind of play with the textures of your shirt. But again, you could dress this up and you could dress it down. So. Definitely a great buy. Next, I am moving on to trousers and I picked up a few to kind of go with the shirts I got. Let me just show you what I have. The first one that I picked up are these chocolate brown sweatpants. Now I'm really trying to get into this whole sweatpant trend, but I'm very particular about the kind of sweatpants that I like to wear. And for me, these are Great material, they're very soft, very soft on the inside. However, they just don't tick all the boxes for me. They don't have pockets, which is so aggravating. I need a pocket, it's 2022, we need pockets. But there's no pockets on this, there's no drawstring, so it's just one size. I picked this up in a medium, and it fits all right, like it's not, super flattering on my body. Like I would definitely recommend if you want kind of like that hourglass shape to size up, which I should have done. So I'm probably gonna send them back and buy them in a different size or maybe even a different style that has what I'm looking for with the drawstring and the pockets. But if you're just like a sweatpants hoarder and you need a basic pair of chocolate brown sweatpants in your collection, then they're not bad. I mean, they're comfortable enough and they have the elastic bottom. So, I mean, you're gonna see it in the cutaway. Doesn't do much for me. Next up, so excited about this. I picked up these gray trousers and they're just this really subtle pinstripe. They're kind of like a corduroy material, a little bit lighter than corduroy because they are very lightweight. So I definitely see these as a transitionary pair of pants. You can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the summer. It's light enough for the summer, but heavy enough for the winter. And what I love about these pants is this like hip waist part is so flattering with these pleats. And I'm gonna just say this once, I'm not buying a pair of pants unless it has a button because a pair of pants like this with an elastic band, I absolutely hate. So one thing I really love about these pants is that they come with a button and a zip and they have pockets. So I would give these a 10 out of 10. They're very comfortable, they're very flattering and they're just a beautiful pair of pants. They have the wide leg at the bottom, which is very in right now. Everybody wears a wide leg. So would recommend these. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm kind of like a leather pants hoarder. It's kind of a problem. I have like seven pairs of leather pants. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, they're a beautiful color. Look at that rich brown. Mm, didn't exactly meet my expectations. I mean, they're not a bad pair of pants, but the color is more of like a rust brown than a chocolate brown. What I love about them is that they have a button and pockets. That is like check, check for me, but I'm just not in love with the color. If these were a little bit truer to the picture I saw online, absolutely would be 100% happy with these. I'm still gonna try to make them work because you know, having an array of colors in your wardrobe is not a bad thing but they're just not the color that I thought they would be. They are very rusty versus being kind of chocolatey. 
Again, they're just that flare leg. And one thing I have to say about the trousers that I picked up for this haul, I really should have shopped in the Shein tall section because a lot of them fit like high waters on me because I am rather tall. So that's probably one thing that I'm gonna do moving forward is shop the tall section because I think that the pants would kind of give me the look that I'm going for, which is like a slouchy look rather than being high waters. So that brings me on to my next pair of pants. Just these beautiful like plaid trousers, flare leg. We have a button, we have a pocket love it and it is very flattering it's high-waisted again it doesn't fall the way that i thought it would the model in the picture had on like a very slouchy outfit her pants were very slouchy they touched the floor these hit my ankles so if you're a tall gal like just keep in mind that it might not always fall the way it shows in the picture but I'm still really, really happy with these pants. They're really great quality. Um, they're very lightweight. They're not itchy. So definitely one of my favorite pairs that I picked up. And I'm really looking forward to styling them. Okay, next up we have these. It's giving Jack Skellington. I love these pants. They're just these black and white pinstripe pants, flare leg. We have a button, only thing is we do not have pockets, but I'm willing to overlook that because these pants are so flattering and so cute. They have belt loops, which is great, so you can actually accessorize these pants by putting a belt on them. And they're like office vibes, they're like skater vibes. I just love these pants. So I really got into like the flare trouser trend and went all in and didn't buy any, anything different. Every pair of pants flares out. Um, but it's a really nice flare. Again, in the picture, the model wearing these, it fell really slouchy on her, which was the look I was going for, but because I am so tall, again, it's a high water on me. So that's the only thing that I really have to complain about, but it's barely a complaint. And my last pair of trousers, let's just take a moment because these jeans are so amazing. I feel like denim can get very expensive um, and maybe you have to be careful when you're buying denim online because it can be such a gamble with how it's gonna fit, but these pants are so great. Look at these pants. Flare leg. They have holes at the knee. They're kind of like this really light acid wash buttons, pockets, high-waisted, so comfortable, so much room, fits like a dream, and they fall really low, which I love. These pants are so great. They're probably like my favorite pair of denim pants that I own at this moment because they are just so flattering. You need these pants. That's all I'm gonna say, you need these pants. And what I love about like pants that kind of fall like this is you can kind of really edge it out by pairing it with a pair of docks, like platform shoes. But then if you wanna get really fancy, like a nice pair of tall strappy heels is gonna dress these pants right up. So please do yourself a favor and click the link in the description to get these pants because they are great. Nearing the end of my haul, we are moving on to jackets. Winter is my favorite season, and I live in Louisiana where it's balls to the ground hot, unfortunately, and I am waiting for winter to come because winter outfits, layering, it's just, it's what I live for, honestly. But, you know, just waiting patiently. Anyway, the first thing that I got was this pleather button-down shirt. This shirt is so cute. It's giving me 90s vibe, 90s mom vibe. Like, this is just a perfect shirt. These buttons are like a gunmetal color. They just blend so nicely with the shirt. The arms are really wide, and then they have these really cute pockets on the front. And I just love this shirt. 
I mean, the only thing that I wish is that it fell a little bit lower on my body, but you know, because I am tall, didn't kind of, I didn't really achieve the look I was going for, but I'm happy either way. This is a size large, so I sized up because I wanted it to fit really oversized, and it is, it is a dream. It is just so cute, and it's such good material, and I feel like sometimes when you order pleather online, it can come with like an odor, but this doesn't have an odor, and it's just a really great shirt, and you need to get it if you're a leather lover like me. Sticking to the theme, I picked up this leather blazer next. <sighs> this blazer is so cute. So we have these functional pockets on the front. We have a button, two buttons, one button, one button on the front. This one is a thick girl, like she's thick, she's heavy, definitely not a summer piece. Um, you know, me, I will wear with, I will wear leather in the summer because leather is great, but I definitely can't wear this until it starts to get cold outside because it is that heavy. So I think that if you paired this, if you live down south like me, if you paired this with like a sweater underneath, you wouldn't even need a jacket to wear it in the winter time down south. So this jacket is so super flattering. It's giving me Matrix vibes, which is my aesthetic. I love it. So there is um, slight padding in the shoulders, but it's not too pronounced. So it doesn't give you like that super boxy robot look, but this jacket is so cute. It has the split in the back. It is just amazing. Only thing is, I tried to steam it out like five times. Couldn't really get the wrinkles out, but it's okay. I feel like eventually just hanging this in my closet, it'll fall nicely. But if you're looking for a leather blazer, this one. I think this was like 23 bucks. Great quality, you need it. Then last for my jackets, I picked up, and I just have a dress underneath, but I picked up this long oversized blazer. I also picked this up in a large so that it would fit really oversized so I could potentially wear it as a dress. And I feel like it is long enough for me to wear it as a dress. So there's two buttons on the front. Functional pockets, once again, we love it. And this is what the back looks like. So there's no split in the back. And it is very lightweight very good material, not itchy on the inside, definitely a transition piece. You can wear it in all of the seasons, dress it up, dress it down. It is just the perfect oversized blazer. And again, really cheap, maybe like 20 something bucks, but it'll be in the description box down below. Now, moving on to the last two pieces I got. It's actually my maybe second time purchasing shoes from Shein and I am so pleasantly surprised. Like they are such good quality. They feel like they're really sturdy, like the heel is not gonna break. But anyway, the first pair of shoes I got are just like, look at them, these like little mama shoes. Like they have this kind of, um, God, what is this material? I can't think of it, but they're stretchy cloth material with a block heel, a short little baby block heel. Look at that color. That is a beautiful color. I cannot wait to style these with like a fresh pedicure. They're so comfortable. They are true to size, so I wear a size seven. I purchased them in a size 37 and they fit like a dream. They are just so amazing. And if you have a wider foot, they're fine because um, it's very stretchy. There's a lot of give. So it's not uncomfortable. I could wear these walking through Bourbon Street, like on those cracked pavements, pop cobblestone pavements, and I would be fine because they're so comfortable. I could wear these all day long. The last pair of shoes I got are these boots. Look at these boots. 90s vibes, these boots are so cute. They're so comfortable. They have a chunky block heel. 
Again, true to size, I wear a seven. I bought a 37, it fits like a dream. And this part is even a little bit slouchy, which is like so 90s and so 2000s. I love it. And they're big enough that you could, not that anybody really wears this anymore, but wear over a pair of skinny jeans or tights, leggings if you wanted to by themselves just with a pair of socks, like you need these boots. You need these boots. These boots are so cute. These boots are so comfortable and you need these boots. So go get these boots. All right, everyone, that was my Shein haul. If you like this video, please like, leave me a comment, let me know which retailer you want me to do a haul on next and I will happily oblige. I love clothes, love to buy clothes, love to do hauls, so just let me know which retailer you want me to review next. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!